question the question is two charged spheres a and b with 10 and plus 20 coulombs respectively are separated by distance 80 cm the electric field at a point on the line joining the centers of the two spheres will be zero at a distance from the sphere a first option 20 cm second option 33 cm third option 55 cm fourth option 60 cm note there are two spheres one sphere is a and the other sphere is b these two spheres are such that their centers are separated by a distance 80 cm i hope you remember just today itself i told that if the charges are of the same nature null point that is the point of zero intensity must lie between the two charges such such that the point is closer to the smaller of the two charges therefore if this is 10 coulomb and this is 20 coulomb suppose intensity is zero at a point p at a distance x centimeter from the point a if intensity at p should be zero then k into charge is 10 divided by the square of the distance is x square this must be equal to intensity at p due to the second sphere and that is k into 20 divided by 80 minus x whole square i request you to note one thing that is you may be having a confusion that 10 and 20 are in coulomb corresponding to si system x and 80 minus x are in centimeter and therefore they are in cgs system can this formula be valid answer is yes because conversion of centimeter into meter will be common both in lhs and rhs in the denominator that gets cancelled out cancelling k and k one can notice that x square divided by 80 minus x whole square is equal to 1 divided by 2 note 10 by 20 equal to 1 divided by 2 one thing that you can notice is that if you have taken the precaution about the position of the null point then i have already told you that when you take the root positive and negative that is plus or minus need not be written it is always going to be plus therefore taking the root over here one can easily write it as x divided by 80 minus x is equal to 1 divided by root 2 in CET you must be knowing that these values are can be taken approximate that is in CET root 2 can be taken as 1.4 root 3 can be taken as 1.7 that will give approximate answer therefore taking the root one can write it as 1 divided by 1.4 cross multiplying 1.4x is equal to 80 minus x that means 2.4x is equal to 80 or x is equal to 80 divided by 2.4 notice 24 3 is 72 again here 24 3 is 72 this can be taken as approximately 33 centimeter on account of this reason the correct answer is the second option the next question like charges of equal magnitude q are kept at the equilateral triangle abc 
as shown in the figure. The electric intensity E and the potential V at the centroid O are respectively 1, E equal to 0, V equal to 0, 2, E equal to 0, V is not equal to 0, 3, E is not equal to 0, V equal to 0, 4, E is not equal to 0, V is not equal to 0. I would like to bring it to your notice that this question is picked up from the IIT paper. What I am trying to emphasize you is nature of the exam is unimportant. Correct understanding of the concept is more important. Nowadays, in all competitive examinations, lot of emphasis is put on the concepts involved in the question. If you are clear about the concept, nature of the exam apart, let it be IIT, let it be JE mains, let it be Karnataka CET, you will always be able to get good marks. Now, try to understand what is the concept in the problem and how you should have answered it. There is an equilateral triangle and the charge Q is placed at each of the corners. At each of the corners, the charge Q is placed. O is the centroid of the triangle. Notice, O is the centroid of the triangle. In order to calculate potential and intensity, first of all, I will go to the potential. While calculating potential, please try to understand one shortcut. And that is, if the charge configuration is such that the charges are equidistant from the point where the charges are placed or the charges are equidistant from the point where the potential is required, the entire charge configuration may be considered as a single point charge which is algebraic sum of the individual charges. Notice, the centroid O of the triangle is equidistant from all the three charges. Therefore, you can apply this concept. And the potential V at a point is given by K, that is 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon 0. Algebraic sum of the charges is 3Q divided by the distance I take this distance to be equal to R. Therefore, it is 3Q divided by R. Now, suppose I want to calculate electric intensity at O. You all know that electric intensity at a point is the force exerted on unit to positive charge placed at that point. If you place a unit to positive charge here, this will exert a force in this direction, that is the forces of repulsion. This charge will exert an equal force, which is also a force of repulsion, as shown in the figure. By the geometry of the figure, you can easily conclude that angle between these forces is equal to 120 degrees. The most important concept that you have learnt in vector C is, if any two vectors are equal in magnitude and are inclined at an angle to be equal to 120 degrees, the resultant is always going to be equal to either of the vectors. Therefore, since these two intensities are equal in magnitude and inclined at an angle 120 degrees, the resultant is also going to be the same, that is E in the direction towards A, that is as shown in the figure. Now, I have taken or calculated the intensity due to charges at these two points. If I now calculate the intensity due to the charge Q at A, you agree that it will repel and the force is same as either of the two forces or the intensity is same as either of the two intensities. Therefore, 
if you want to calculate the net intensity it is sufficient if you take the resultant of this intensity and this intensity they are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction therefore the resultant intensity is going to be equal to zero therefore the intensity e is going to be equal to zero note that potential is a finite intensity is equal to zero therefore the correct option is e is equal to zero and v is not equal to zero before concluding this question let me tell you important points that you have to keep in your mind if the equal charges are placed at the corners of an equilateral triangle the resultant intensity at the centroid is always going to be zero second point is if the charge configuration is such that the point where the potential is required is equidistant from the charges potential can be calculated as though the configuration is a single charge whose magnitude is algebraic sum of the individual charges and at the same distance as each of the charges.